Good morning, everybody. It is 4.30 a.m. May 16th, 2019. I am in North Little Rock, Arkansas at the Pilot. I'm going to attempt to try to make this video today. The last couple days, I have been feeling like absolute crap. But we are 150 five miles away from Texarkana to deliver our load this morning and then supposedly to coming back to Knoxville deadhead which is fine by me because I get paid either way but uh, these parking lots are so small the guys just park wherever take a look here guys are parked right there. I don't know if they're blocking a truck or not. Looks to me like they are, but geez. Now back to probably why I have been feeling so bad is every time I check my blood glucose, it's been higher than it has been in several weeks. It's still kind of low, but I, I think that it's got to have something to do with it. It had been down into the low 100s and down to the double digits and now it's in the mid 150 to 180 so apparently there's been something in my diet that I got to go back and check it sure does suck feeling that way that's why we got to stay healthy that's why we got to get back to being skinny that's my goal be skinny anyway uh, let's just uh, get this thing rolling here and head out of here and uh, head towards Texarkana. Talk to you in a bit. Man alive, look at all the trucks waiting to check in and I am barely in the driveway and half out in the street. I do not like coming to Texarkana. Hey guys, I made it to Texarkana this morning and Boy, it is a jungle out there in the parking lot waiting to go in. I'm going to start telling them I ain't coming. This is ridiculous. As you'll see in the next clip. See what I'm telling you? But uh, anyway, we're here. Let's go get checked in. Hurry up and wait. Just like last time. Well, we got checked in. It was a nice walk up there and a nice walk back. I needed the exercise, especially after feeling puny for two days. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. And as you see, I've got no load assignment, which means I'm dead heading back to Knoxville. <sighs> might as well, because it might take me all day to get unloaded here. This place is a joke. I mean, really. Look, there's three trucks in front of me. And I'd say there's about one, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve, twelve more tw trucks. Plus a guy going in the gate. And then that guy's sitting right there at the street checking in. So, but a lot of these trucks are the ingots. You remember the ingots. Uh, we've loaded those before. So I'd say that about half of these trucks are ingots and then the other half are coils. So maybe we can get, uh, get going here shortly. But that's it. This is Texarkana. Another beautiful morning. That's the only thing good so far. <laughs> and that I am feeling much better. I just, I can't say enough how much I feel better. The last two days was just awful. And I know it's my diet. It has to be my diet. My, my blood glucose. Well, let's, let's, let's check it right now, shall we? Uh... Let's get it turned on here. Turned on, ready to scan. Damn, 
191. That's too high. That's too high. It's got to go down. I guess I'm just going to have to stop eating altogether. Go on a starvation diet or something. I was doing good. I'm slacking, I guess. Slacking, not snacking. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, we'll holler back at you in a little bit. See how long it takes. Let's see how long I've been here. I have been here. We'll start the clock and see. I have been sitting here 16 minutes already. So, uh, we'll see how long we'll be sitting here when they call me on the phone and say, come on. Talk to you in a bit. Thanks. Okay, 30 minutes. <sighs> One hour. One hour. And I still have about 16 trucks. No, no, make that 15. One's moving towards the gate. Yay. This place sucks. So in the two trips that I've made it here, I have wasted this many hours waiting. I do not want to come back to Texarkana. It's, it's not worth it. Find something else to do. Find another customer. Find somebody else to truck it down here who wants to sit and wait. I don't want to sit and wait. I ain't making money with my wheels sitting. And it ain't cutting making $16 an hour to waste your day. I'd rather be driving. Anyway. Well, what can I say? five hours five hours hey look at Tim right there he's going Hollywood with his sunglasses and his hard hat he got out of his truck he's going to the office apparently the driver in front of me they call him in before him Oh well, we shall see. I just sent Sarah an email. I'm not coming back. This is ridiculous. Well, after six hours, I finally got the phone call to move in. So I'm right behind my boy, Tim. Tim. See, oh, there he went. Uh, he just walked back to his truck. Let's see if we can get old Tim on the video. He'll get a kick out of it, maybe. There's Tim. That's a that's our guy Tim right there. He's waiting patiently. And here we go with the crane. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Just don't make the best video, but...
Hey Tim, remember to smile. You're on YouTube. And there they go. They're going to pick it up. I wish this was my trailer. But I'm next in line. Yeah, look at it go. Snow is Christmas. Anyway, I'll get back with you. Okay, everybody, I am done finally after six hours of waiting to get unloaded. I finally got back there. And when the guy came to take off my last coil, he told the other worker, he said, this is it. I have no room for any more coils. That was the last coil that was going to be taken for a while till they figured it out. So thank God for that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get my equipment put up, get on the road, stop, get some fuel, and start heading home. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Finally, got chains and binders and everything put up. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm gonna try something new to try to get some road footage. Let's let's see if I can't do that with my phone on my tripod. Can't hurt. Talk to you in a bit when we stop getting fuel. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Let's see how she works. Here we go. Knoxville, Tennessee, here we come. We're empty, so we should make good time. I hope. But we shall see. See that bounces around. Here we go. Traffic's clear. Sorry, that's me messing with the stand, sit try to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, we'll get the one mirror in the slightly under hood. <sighs> All right, it is uh, 214 here in Texarkana, Texas. We're gonna stop at the pilot at Texarkana, Arkansas and fill her up. Uh, I'm glad uh, I got in because I was like, ooh, I'm looking a little low on fuel. All right, buddy, hurry up, get across there. There you go. Anyway, here we go. We're almost to the interstate. We'll see how far we can get. I gotta get up. Oh, I don't know, I got four hours of drive, so that'll take a good chunk. But I don't wanna, well, I mean, I don't have to drive late. It started early, so that's good. I only drove 158 miles this morning, so gonna be a short miles 
day, but getting back home is the important part. And this place is always full of trucks. Let's see, any, mini, miny, mo. Let's go to this one since there's nobody in front of him and he's already fueling. Well, I'm hoping to get to. North Little Rock back where we started this morning but it'll be close anyway uh, talk to you after I get fuel gee okay everybody I'm leaving now <laughs> it's a disaster here and when I mean disaster there's just a lot of truck drivers in and out of this place and this place is already that parking's already full and it's uh, not quite 3 o'clock in the afternoon yet but like I said, we're going to try to get to North Little Rock. We'll see. Uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Well, we finally made it to the Petro here at North Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, for my buddy Ted, he's been asking me a question about something. And this is probably the only place that I know of that it may happen. So, who knows? But, uh, anyway, it's been a long, tiring day. You know, just sitting around waiting is more tiring than actually working, I think. But, uh, I want to show you something I just discovered on a truck that's only got 105,000 miles on it. Hang on, let me show you. Screws that hold in the hinge to this door coming out ain't that lovely and it's probably all because of the roads but I'm gonna tighten this thing up before them bolts fall out so I'll get back with you well we got her fixed she's a holding on so that's got that fixed hmm see our England's doing flatbed Oh well, anyway, uh, I'm going to edit this video today, I hope it's uh, informative, but it's more about complaining about my first trip to Texarkana, but uh, as we have heard rumor that there might be a Arconic slash Alcoa strike, so who knows. And there he's back, buddy. He whipped that truck around real fast to get the parking place next to me, I suppose. So we'll see if he bangs my truck. I hope not. I don't feel like dealing with it. The way he come barreling through there. <sighs> he's got a nice turn on it so far. All right, cut it, cut it. Good, you're good. Now, yeah, straighten it out. Pull up a little bit. Pull it up, pull it up as far as you can get. And back her in. A lot of 
unique stuff coming here. He's got pods. He may end up, he may have to move those uh, reserve signs so he can back in. Maybe these uh, people that work at Petro will help him out. Nope. They're going to keep on cruising around. But you're going to back right into his truck if you're not careful. If you're not careful. He's getting close. He's getting close. Hey, but as long as he doesn't hit it, he's doing good. All right, now now he's kind of getting it straightened out a little bit. Back it up. Get it to turn just a little bit. Now, pull straight forward. Get them wheels straight. Or turn them like that. And it looks like he's getting in there. Another safe backing. All right, guys, talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night and be safe.